Hi everybody! It's the first time it's been like over 60 degrees Fahrenheit in my area for like a long time, months. Um, and I'm just in here eating Reese's Puffs and playing Undertale, so... I win! The howling wind is now a breeze and that gives me determination. I'm on, I'm on my way back to uh, Undine's house, presumably, after I have defeated her. What is this? It's a box, presumably to be pushed. So can I push it? I don't appear to be able to push it. Let's talk to this, th uh, this guy. Ah, today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah! There's no art in that action-y, mindless schlock. It's just timing-based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You! You're young. You've still got hope. Gehehehe. <laughs> Here, try solving this block-pushing puzzle. Huh. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong! Bah, forget it. This generation is really hopeless. Bah! 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 Bah? Bro, I don't know. Got any tips? Bah, never mind. Okay, bye. You've lost my interest. Haha. <laughs> I have better things to do, or rather, things I'd rather do that aren't objectively better, but just I'd prefer them. It's hard to walk in a straight line with this control pad. Do I have to go all the way back? Oh my! Womp. We're walking. We're womping. <laughs> Now, we have made it to the next room, where we're going to walk. Did I buy a Temi Flake? I did, I got some Temi Flakes. Probably got the cheap one. Is this the room where Temi fights? I mean, is encountered? How do you encounter the Temi? You to throw a flake at it, see what happens. I do not know the answer. Maybe this isn't the room. Maybe it is, and they just don't feel like attacking me. Whatever. Shook. Was there a faster way to get back here? Maybe. Not that I remember. Okay, so we're here now. This is Ghostland, right? This is not it. It's locked. And hers is over here. I'll save. I will save right here. Oops, I meant I will save right here. Okay, good. Let's check this out. Let's call Papyrus, now that he's in front of us. Ring ring! That's Undyne's house. You know, the one with the skeleton in front. <laughs> what is that song? What, what, what? It's a living. Oh ho, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Will you hang out? Yes. Okay, stand behind me! Make sure to give her this. She loves these. It's a bone with a gift wrap on it. Knock, knock, knock. Whoa. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? <laughs> you bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... You can see her looking at Papyrus. Why don't you two come in? <laughs> Let's go! This is her house. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Oh, yeah, I thought of that. It was me. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! <laughs> so why are you here? 
to rub your victory in my face, to humiliate me, humiliate me even further. Is that it? No, I didn't mean to say yes. Oh, crap. Oh, well, I've got news for you, brat. You're on my battlefield now, and you aren't going to humiliate me. I'll tell you what's going to happen. We're going to hang out. We're going to have a good time. We're going to become friends. You'll become so enamored with me. You'll be the one feeling humiliated for your actions. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Er, why don't you have a seat? Do, do, do. Ah. Sit down and progress? Yes. I'm standing on the chair. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. I meant to say no. All set. What would you like? Uh. Don't get up. Oh, I moved. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, well, I not just point to what you want. You can use the spear. <laughs> Sugar goes in tea. Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Mountain Dew. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. Looks blue to me. Tea box, blatantly correct choice. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Tea, huh? Coming right up. She's making tea. Shush. There's no coffee in there. There's coffee. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Hmm. <laughs> okay, it's all done. So much mileage with these sound effects. Swoosh and whoop. And here we are. Mmm, some tea. Where's your seat? Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Other than the being fire, nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea, oh boy. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. There's a sword over there. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. I can't say that word today. Humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how you beat to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Who is somewhere. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's so nice. He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. Become a spaghetti maker. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. More tea for me! Hooray! Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. What? <laughs> That's what's happening? Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Woohoo! Afraid? We're gonna be best 
friends. <laughs> Shush. Let's start with the sauce. She had tomatoes and bananas and carrots in the ceiling waiting for this. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now I'll pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong? Wimpy. Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Nah! <laughs> Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... <laughs> more stuff is in the ceiling when I stomp. We had the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand! They're the cheapest! Nah! Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. <laughs> yeah! I'm into it! All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Press Z. Oh, I'm... I'm stirring. Stir harder. Harder. I'm trying. Arr. Ugh, let me do it. <laughs> you just speared the pot into nothing. That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold down right to turn up the heat. Oh, I'm turning the knob. Hotter. Okay, I'll... <laughs> Hotter, darn it. I'm just gonna keep turning up the heat. Hotter! The fire's pretty... Wait, that's too... I'm... Oh. Did, did we just blow up your house? Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Did, are we dead now? So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Whoa! I've been, I've been defeated, my house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Oh my God, can you actually fight her here? Act. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. Oh, it actually hit her. What? That's the best you could manage? Even attacking at full force, you just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <sighs> you know what? My spear evaporated. I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid sa <laughs> Sacherine? Sacherine? Is that the word? Shtick? But the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Foo hoo hoo! Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls across the barrier and beat the hell out of you. <laughs> That's what friends are for, right? Foo hoo hoo hoo! Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Okay. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh! And if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Well, that was something. Sounds like only fire lives here now. 
Well, mission accomplished, I think. Right? Great J! Hooray! What's you? Um, so... Let's call Papyrus. And Undyne. Ring ring. Sounds like you're near Undyne's house. Hey! We should go visit Undyne. I'm right here. I love when a plan comes together. <laughs> uh, well, I suppose let's... Go see if this guy's here. Tra la la, I am the Riverman. Or am I the Riverman woman? It doesn't really matter. I'd love to ride on my boat. Would you care to join me? Yes. Let's go to Hotland. Then we're off. Mm, tra la la. But bo it's that way. Oh. It's the other way. We're going the wrong way. Tra la la. Beware of the man who speaks in hands. What? I don't know what you said. Tra la la. Come again sometime. Tra la la. <laughs> okay, we're back. This is seeing such a strange laboratory. Okay. Time to face Metatetetan. However, this time I will look at Dr. Alfie's and see if, uh, has any, uh, Advice with the, the multiple choice. It's you? It is me. Do, do, do. Too dark to see near the walls. Uh, but I can see what it is. It's, oh, uh, dog food. Or something. Hello, are you a Triceratops? Oh my God. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy, and I'm running in place. <laughs> um, hi, uh, I'm Dr. Alfie's. I'm Asgore's royal scientist, but I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you've stepped out of the ruins, I've been observing your journey through my console, your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a, on a screen really makes you root for them. So I want to help you now. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. You know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, some small practical adjustments, like anti-human combat features. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Hopefully we won't. But we will. Huh? What? Did you hear something? No. I didn't hear anything. Goodbye. I'm leaving. No, I still haven't heard anything. I haven't heard anything. Oh no. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Welcome, beauties. To today's quest show. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for your wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule, answer correctly. Or die, or you die. Shuck a kick, and a ton attacks. Check, and a ton. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? D? <laughs> Wait. The quiz show continues. Cry. Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? I knew this one. The quiz show continues. I shall spare you. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made out of? 
B. Metal and magic. <laughs> Sugar and spice. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, eh? Uh, give me the answer. D. Yeah, wonderful, I'm astounded. Spare. <laughs> Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? <laughs> I'm looking at you, Dr. Alphys. You give me the answers. Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? I know it, this one. Oh. <laughs> I'm so flattered you remembered. Good thing I didn't answer that wrong. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? It's all heck yeah. Great answer, I love it. The quiz show continues. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? <laughs> what? Quiz show continues. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh, I know this one, it's snail ice cream. It's the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all her friends, but it's a snail life flavor and she's the only one who wants it, but it's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alfies, 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 you aren't helping our contestant, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alfies have a crush on? Bling. Seriously? My, my, how conceited can you get? I love it. And while you are completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on her computer screen, smiling when you succeed, shrieking when you fail, and always, always whispering, no, wrong, you have to go that way. In its own way, is this not love? Well, 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 with Dr. Alfie's helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We cannot go on like that, but, but, this was just a pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Oh. Well, that was certainly something. That's what I wanted to say. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. Then maybe uh, if you need help, I could... Where did you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. <laughs> There's definitely a uh, Mario Paint cat noise in there. And a screaming person. I upgraded for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the no Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> so, dimensional box A, dimensional box B? Oh, I see. So I have two boxes to just use? I don't have her phone number. His phone number, I don't know. But they have mine? What's this? Little feet are tapping just behind the door. Is that the bathroom? I'll go up here. Whee! Looks like Alfie's work table. Seems dusty. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. <laughs> it's a promo poster for Meditin's TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Well, until next time, I'm Brian, and I've been playing some video games. And next time I'll play some more video games. It's a video feed of my me. Have a good day, everybody. Reese's Puffs are good.